Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Season 3 Episode 6 Round 1 Let's Begin First grab some toy cap gun ammo like this and a match. Carefully remove the paper layer on one of the ammo chambers and place a drop of water inside. Then take the match and carefully but thoroughly dip and spin the match in it. Do so until you see a thin coating on the match. Next, leave this match to dry for a couple of hours. Once it's dry, you can now flick the match and the match will light. If you take some long blocks of ice and add it to enough water, the ice cubes will float, meaning there's some additional water in the form of solid ice above the surface. That means although the water level starts at this line marked with blue tape, over time as the ice melts, the water will rise slightly and end higher than it began. If you take a strong neodymium magnet and attach it to a steel surface, the magnet will stay. But if you place a candle beneath it and wait a few moments, the magnet will weaken and ultimately fall. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. It's true that dipping a match in cap gun refill ammo and letting it dry allows you to flick the match to light it, since the powder coating ignites really easily, which then lights the match. It's also true that magnets lose their magnetic strength when they reach hotter temperatures. When these floating ice cubes melt, the water level actually won't rise. Here's what the actual demo looks like, and as you can see, the water level actually stays the same. Since the ice is floating, it displaces an amount of water equal to its weight, which is the same volume of water that it will melt into. I simply added small amounts of water over the course of several hours to make it look like it rose. Here's a quick recap to help you follow before moving on to the next round. Next up, it's time for round two. If you take a 2 liter soda bottle and pour the soda into the glass, you can see that it's highly carbonated. If you leave that soda cap off for a couple weeks until it goes pretty flat, you might think that carbonation is gone forever. However, if you take a pump cap like this, you can repressurize the bottle with air from the surroundings and after waiting a couple hours, the carbon dioxide in the air once again dissolves in the liquid and you've recarbonated the drink. If you take an M&M and place it in a bowl of water and wait a few minutes, the food coloring starts to dissolve and the letter M will detach and float to the surface and you can carefully pick it up. You might remember from season 1 that although a metal paperclip is more dense than water and should sink, you can carefully place the paperclips on the surface of the water and surface tension will hold the paperclips up. However, if you take some soap and apply it on your fingers and then dip your fingers in the water gently, the soap causes the paperclips to sink. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. It's true that placing M&Ms in water will allow you to remove the M because they aren't water soluble. The letters are pretty fragile though, so you have to be careful when picking them up to keep them intact, and sometimes they don't detach in one piece. It's true that adding soap to water causes floating paper clips to sink. Adding soap to the water greatly decreases the surface tension, meaning it can no longer support the weight of the paper clips. That means using a pump cap like this won't recarbonate your beverage. I simply swapped out the flat soda with some carbonated soda that was at the same level. Here's a quick recap to help you follow before moving on to the next round. Now it's time for round 2.5, a bonus round. Giraffes and humans have the same number of neck bones. A nail placed in the trunk of a tree will rise in height as the tree grows. Pencil graphite and diamonds are both made of carbon. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. And while you think, I wanted to let you know this bonus round was taken from the example card on the back of my first ever merch item, a Two Truths and Trash trivia deck with 50 new rounds. It's available now, and if you're interested in getting one for yourself or a friend, you can go to my website. Anyway, it turns out a nail placed in the trunk of a tree won't rise in height as the tree grows. Thanks for your support, and now it's time for the final round, round three. If you place a ping pong ball inside a cardboard paper towel roll, leaving a small air gap at the bottom, you can aim a hair dryer up towards the top of the roll like this, and when you turn the hair dryer on, the ping pong ball will fly out. If you measure out the maximum amount of salt you can dissolve in a given container of distilled water, the water level initially appears to rise when you add the salt, because the salt hasn't had time to dissolve. However, salt water is significantly more dense than pure water, so over the next 8 hours, stirring occasionally, the salt water level will actually be lower than the originally marked level of pure water only. If you take a Lazy Susan in a sealed clear tube of water that has an air bubble in it and tape this tube to the center of the Lazy Susan, when you spin it, the air bubble will move to the center. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Aiming a hairdryer like this at a cardboard paper towel roll with a ping pong ball in it does cause the ping pong ball to fly out. Spinning this clear tube with an air bubble does cause the air bubble to move to the center. This is similar to how a helium balloon moves forward in a car when you accelerate like you saw last season. The heavier water moves towards the outsides of the tube which pushes the bubble to the center. 
Although salt water is more dense than distilled water, it would be incorrect to conclude that adding salt to water lowers the water level. You aren't comparing equal masses of each. When the salt is initially added, the water level goes up by the volume of solid salt. Then as the salt dissolves, the water level does lower, but the final fully dissolved level would still be higher than that of the original of only distilled water. Here's a quick recap of the final round. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you next time.